a wireless router is an amazing networking device, and setting it up correctly doesn't have to be complicated. That's what this video is all about. This is exactly how I set up my wireless router every time. And I hope you learned something new that you can implement into your wireless router setup. And just a heads up, all wireless routers have different interfaces. So what I'm showing you here may look different than yours. But trust me, all the settings that are in my wireless router are in yours. So first, make sure that you have an internet connection. That's important. Second, check any documentation that came with the router. This documentation might contain admin passwords, SSID passwords, and even a QR code to download an app. Third, if there is an app, download it and install immediately. Fourth, decide on the optimal location for your wireless router. Keep your wireless router away from walls. You want the router to be in a wide open area. This will give you optimal wireless performance. Next, physically install the router into the network. This includes connecting the WAN port from your wireless router to your ISP's gateway using an ethernet cable. Cat5e, Cat6, or Cat6a will do. And by the way, an ISP gateway is a fancy term for modem or fiber ONT. Now plug in the power and turn it on. Next, you want to check the LED lights on the router for internet connectivity. If there is an issue or a problem and you have no connectivity, you may want to unplug the power to your ISP gateway and your router for 30 seconds and then plug it back in. This is referred to as a power cycle. Now you want to connect any ethernet cables from your network to the four LAN ports on the router. If you have more than four ethernet cables in your network, then simply buy a switch and plug it into the router. And that gives you more ports. Now use the app that you downloaded or the web browser interface to access the admin screen. For the web browser dashboard, type in 192.168.1.1 and that should take you to the screen right here. Next, access the admin screen with the password you found in documentation. Now the first thing you want to do is change the admin password and don't use password for your password. And from here you can also change the router's name. Next you want to check for an available firmware update for your router. If there is one, update it now. Next, go to wireless settings. You want to create SSID and a password. And make sure your security is set to WPA3 or WPA2 in older routers. And while you're there, go ahead and set up the guest SSID and password. But keep that turned off till someone comes over. It's better for security. Next, make sure that Wi-Fi protected setup is disabled. It's a big security risk. Next, when possible, use auto configuration tools. For instance, use auto configuration for DHCP, which automatically assigns IP addresses to all your devices. And from here, make sure that NAT is enabled. Network address translation. Now you want to set up security. Turn on your firewalls, web filtering, content restrictions to adult websites, Disable peer-to-peer -peer file sharing. And lastly, disable UPnP, universal plug and play. Leaving UPnP on opens you up to online threats as well as hackers. And lastly, assign a static DNS to your router. We use Cloudflare, which blocks all malware and adult websites, which is fantastic if you have small children or teenagers. And as you can see, we have a Pi-hole server as well. This blocks malware and ads. However, that's a little bit more advanced, but if you want to learn how to set up a Pi-hole on a Raspberry Pi, then we have a link right here to that video. So these are all the important basics to setting up any wireless router. And I hope this makes your wireless router setup very easy. And don't forget, like, share, subscribe, and comment it. And for God's sakes, hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.